here's a quick uh, I'm just gonna do a couple minutes on some stuff I should have had before these animations that I mentioned I should have when we talk about intersecting these curves and how that changes as the curve changes in particular talking about the tangent case well I haven't uh, Gemma sketchpad animation here or well it's a dynamic document so here's uh, here I'm taking a parabola and I'm actually dragging it up and down it's interesting because it doesn't actually really look like I'm dragging it relative to itself but I really am funny thing about parabolas if you drag them downward it almost looks like I'm just kind of making it wider but I'm dragging it up and down and what you can see is the intersection points with the x-axis are getting closer and closer and closer to each other and as I get right there they coalesce into one point now it seems like if I go above they just disappear what really happens is they break apart again but using complex numbers as imaginary solutions and you can't really see that with the real number picture that I've got on this play on this uh, this picture but the main thing I wanted to, to illustrate is this idea that one tangent intersection can be thought of as two infinitely close um, intersections sort of ordinary intersections. Now the other picture that I wanted to do, let me go back to the PowerPoint here, was this idea of another kind of intersection problem where you've got these things, we want to think of this line as intersecting the hyperbola at a point at infinity. Well, let's go back to the sketch. So here I've got the hyperbola that's in purple and then I've got a, a variable line going through the origin. I'm tilting its slope and you can see the two intersection points here and here and as that slope gets closer and closer to uh, one in other words the angle between it and the x-axis gets closer and closer to 45 degrees then those points zoom off to infinity and so right when it's 45 degrees they really are, sort of are at infinity um, and so that's the picture I was sort of imagining wanting you to imagine a little more concretely of uh, constructing these points at infinity and then one other thing about points at infinity that I realized I should have, I mentioned the idea of really this idea of projective geometry is very closely related to perspective drawing. When we see two parallel lines, and if we stand right between them and look off, they appear to converge at infinity. We know they don't really converge, but they appear to have a vanishing point that's infinitely far away that they seem to be converging to. And so when you look at pr projective geometry, in fact, that's I intimately related to the, um, the idea of pr perspective that people started figuring out in the Renaissance. And that's it for this part, and then we'll go on with the main thrust of the argument later.